Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I fight. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So um me disculpo, verdad, si escuchan una huya, no sé si escuchan una huya. ¿Se escucha o no se escucha? Sí. Sí. Interferencia. Sí, lo que pasa es que hay una feria aquí en, en, mi, en, mi, en mi cantón. <risa> <risa> y hay una disco móvil y hay no sé qué ah. cosa. Entonces espero que eso no vaya a interferir la clase. I hope so. That. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, so how were you? How was your day? It's, it's, it's great. It's fine. Fine, fine. What do you do? Mm -hmm. um, very happy. Oh, okay. Very happy my my day. Why? What happened? Uh, uh, I received I received a new new news. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, Recibí una nueva noticia. Oh, I receive a good I, news. A good news, yes. Uh, oh. Um, uh, okay. And actually, no, no work. Oh, is that good yeah. news or bad news? No, news, news. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. De hecho, de, de un trabajo. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Tomorrow, tomorrow is uh, is given in August. Tomorrow I will start. I I will I will in uh, capacitación, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, training, training, in training, mm, training. Nice, nice. That's great. Okay, so welcome everyone. Hello, Janet. Hello, Sara. Hello, Saul. Hello, Diego, Sandra, Basilia, Judith, Hello. Angel, Eunice, and Ellie, Elsie. So it's good to see you one more time. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Very moved. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, Excellent. okay. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe. I believe. That's I, good. I, I go to, to beach. Oh, mm, nice. Saturday. When? On Saturday? On mm, Saturday. Oh, I see. Nice. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's awesome. All right. So, um, so I hope uh, more students are going to join us. 
And as I said before, I apologize if you hear any interference. But the thing is, like, there is a party here. It's a carnival here um, in my city. That's why you might hear some noise in the background. And it's because of that. All right. So, but uh, the good thing is that you are here. And hopefully, we are going to have fun today because we have a topic. And I, I guess I'm going to start uh, sharing the topic uh, with all of you. Uh, let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, today we are going to uh, review, <laughs> review section number four. As you might know, uh, uh, with you, we are gonna be from today until Friday, remember? From today until Friday. That's why today I'm not going to start with section number five. And it's because, um, you know, we missed two classes, right? So we missed two classes. And that's why I'm not going to start with um, section number five. However, I'm going to start uh, this week with the review of the previous week so that tomorrow I can go right away to the to section number five. And so we can conclude section number five on Friday. All right, is that clear? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes? yes sir. Oh, okay, yes. very nice, very nice. All right, so um, today we're gonna be reviewing section number four. Um, and this is the agenda that I have the introduction, uh, review previous learning, uh, warm up activity about yesterday. We're gonna be working on a present on activity about yesterday. And remember when we are talking about yesterday, what we are basically working on is on the simple past or past simple, right? And then the present perfect and then sequence words. Remember the sequence adverbs? Do you remember the sequence adverbs? Yes. yes okay uh yes. so we're gonna be reviewing that all right so what's the main of objective that i have for you um tonight uh it's a student will be able to practice the language using simple structure to express past actions and sequence adverbs that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be expressing things um in simple past and also using sequence adverbs all right, so since last week, we were talking about season four, I would like to hear from you, okay? I would like to hear from you, what's the difference between season four? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between season four? Especially when I'm using it in a present perfect structure. Mm -hmm. Since we we use it when when we know the, the exact time when something happened in the past, and or is a period of time that we are that we were on uh, that situation. Right. Yes. Uh, for example, listen, um, since we are reviewing, right? Look at this example. I have waited for this class since 7.30. See? <clears throat> so I'm basically, what I'm saying is I'm specifying the starting point when uh, where something uh, started to happen, right? I have waited for this class since 7.30 p.m. However, if I want to use for, that would be I have waited, waited for this class for, what time is it now? Eight, six, I would say, what? Mm, 36 minutes, see? Minutes. Can you see the difference? So when I use yes. since, uh, when I use since, I basically I include the starting point. But when I use a uh, for, what I what I'm including it's a periods of time, a periods of time. Mm -hmm. Is yes. that clear? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Yes. 
Remember, if you have any question, uh, you are very uh, um, feel familiar or do not be shy. Just speak up and ask any question that you might have. All right. Okay. So that's basically reviewing the simple pre. I mean, the present perfect with since and for. And I hope uh, well that is clear. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So we're gonna do an activity right now, the warm up activity. Have you ever played charade? No. Have you ever played charade? It's like no, never. Uh, play the game with your classmate. Think about one word in English and mime it. Mime it. Yes. Your classmates no, no. are going to guess the word in English. For example, okay, for example, uh, let me do my example. So, and then I'll uh, see if you can guess what I'm trying to do. All right, let me see. Mm. Okay, I'm thinking about something. Oh. What am I doing? Uh, maybe something to drink water. Yeah, but how would how would you say that in English? Water, water. No, no. Faucet. What? You open the faucet. No, First, yeah, then... yeah. I'm opening the faucet. Yes, Is it soap? But... Huh? Soap? No. So, no. No, soap. No, soup. Oh. Soup. No, no, soup. no, soup. No. Guacal. <laughs> yeah, but, but how would you say that in English? How would you say that in English? Ah, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. What? What? A bowl. What? A bowl. A bowl. I don't know. A bowl. A, a bowl. A bowl. Well, a bowl. Especially when we are uh, when we are using things like that to uh, to have something wider or something else and that we say container, container, a container. See, to drink water. So container. I was referring to the container. All right. Mm -hmm. So remember when you mine. You don't need to speak up. You just mind the things. And then we are going to try to guess what you are referring to. All right. So who ah, wants to... Okay, you Sandra. Were... Sandra, it's your turn. Sandra, sorry. it's your turn. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, um, you were drinking a chuco in a wakao, in a, in a bowl. <laughs> chilate, chilate. Chilate. Ah, ch <laughs> I don't like chilate. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. I don't either. Okay, so uh, Sandra, Sandra, it's your time. It's your turn. Me? Yeah. My turn. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> what is it? Uh, watch or oh, time? Yes, watch. Okay, good. Christian, watch. now, Christian, is your time. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, something like this. Don't be shy. Oh. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh, what? Ah, uh, I know. I got it. What is it? Backpack. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm back. Okay. I'm back. Uh, is, is that a backpack, Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Saul, Saul. Mm -hmm. Okay, think, by the way, okay, mientras sus compañeros están haciéndolo, piensen ya en una palabra que cuando les toque, eh, you're going to do it, okay? Okay, Saul. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh -huh. Hat. A helmet. A helmet. A helmet. 
right? I think Elements. it's yeah, hat. Oh, hat. Oh, okay, good. Uh, Janet, uh -huh. Janet, what about you? Uh, taping and uh, a scroll. Ah, uh, a typewriter. Typewriter. <laughs> Good, Joanny. Okay, thank you, Joanny. What about you, Joanny? Me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Or, let me try. Uh, well, don't 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 think back about me. I never do that, but it's the only thing that I I think I can do. Okay. Smoke I don't baby. have any. Smoke, you know, is it smoke cigarette? Is it smoking? Yes. Oh. Yes, smoke <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I could okay. Do. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Anissa? Do you want to try? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Chat. A cell phone. Yeah, ah, that was super easy. <laughs> okay, uh, what about you, Marjorie? Uh -huh, Marjorie, you wanna try? I don't know. Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. What is she doing? Combing. Are you combing your hair? Combing your hair? Combing her. Brushing uh, it. Brushing it? I don't remember. I the, mean, I oh, I, oh, man. I, I, you I mean, mean like ha hair? You mean hair? Uh, Iron? Ironing. Uh, oh, ironing. Oh, ironing. Uh, yes. Well, women, you know, women, they know anything about, I mean, everything about hearing, yeah, I mean, irony. Okay. Uh, let, let's see, Angel Martinez. Angel Martinez, it's your turn. Let's see what you have. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Running. In a hurry. Running. Walking. Walking. Oh. Uh, driving. Going to work. Driving? Yeah. Driving. Oh, oh driving. Okay, driving. Yeah. Let me see. And then a volunteer. A volunteer. Who? Who? Let me see. I'm looking for um let me see. Sara Quintanilla. What about you, Sara Quintanilla? <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I fighting. Nice. Okay. Uh, do you want to try? Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Ah, I know. I know. I know. Your face. What is she doing? Huh? Uh, the makeup. Making up. Oh, making up. Making up. Making. Putting some makeup. <laughs> making up. Okay. Okay, one more, and then one more, and then I move on. Basilia, do you want to try, Basilia? Yes, teacher, I try. Okay, go ahead. I don't know. <laughs> I have a cell phone. Oh. Ah, uh -huh. I don't think. I don't. Yes. Ironing your clothes. Yes, okay. it's iron the clothes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we were having a lot of fun doing that. I was expecting you like dancing with your body, screaming, or I don't know, like in a party, doing something up, but I, you were kind of decent people. You were just like, you know, ironing, making up, uh, driving. Um, you were like, Backpack, a simple backpack and walking. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to start with the lesson. Um, we were doing the charade, that activity, and we are going to move on to the next activity. So welcome everyone. Welcome if you have joined us later. Uh, welcome. Picnic. Yes, yes. Picnic. Okay, so do you remember that every time we want to express uh, past activities or activities in the past, we use what? We use the simple past. For example, especially um, if we are referring to the past, for example, we can say he played football, right? But what about a negative? A negative part is he did mm -hmm. not play football, it did right? Not. Okay, so and since we are reviewing, remember that when we use did, <laughs> when we use did, nothing happened to the verb, right? Nothing happened. There, there is no chance. There is no change at all. Nothing happened to the, the verb. Okay. All right. So uh, let me ask you a question right now. Okay, can you give me one example about one past activity? Okay, tell me something that you did today. What did you do today? Hmm? I worked all the I day. I worked, okay. Can you go to the chat and type it, please? Hmm? Okay, in my case, in my case, I, um, I worked the whole day. See, in my case, I worked the whole day. Hmm? Let me see what you did today. I worked all the day. Mm -hmm. What else? What else did you do today? I registered my subjects. Good, good. What else? I did work at my office. I went to the park. Thank you. Well, park, yes. I went to the park. Okay, what else? I went to the park. Tell me something else that you did. Another activity. Okay, I cooked the dinner. Nice. I studied all the day. Okay, good student. Good student. What else? I went to play soccer. I went to visit my son. I washed clothes. Nice. What else? I did homework for a long time. <laughs> I woke up very early today. I fixed my car. I bought fruit in the supermarket. I took a nap. Nice, nice, very nice. I work all day. Okay, look, um, Sarah, uh, remember that when we are using the simple past, si el verbo en presente es work, pero como estoy hablando en, en acciones en pasado, eso sería, ¿cómo sería, chicos? Can you help me? Work. Work, yes. Work. Yeah, for example, and the present is, I work every day. ¿sí? Work. Simple present, right? Simple present. I work every day. Simple past would be, I worked uh, I work. yesterday. Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Remember that when we have regular verbs, we add ed. ¿Me pueden dar unos ejemplos de verbos regulares, por favor? Son regular verbs. Play. Hmm? What is it? Play. Play. Uh -huh. What else? Play. Jugar. Mm -hmm. Want. Want. Uh, love. Watch. Mm -hmm. Like watch TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, what other example? What other verbs? Mm -hmm. Want, love, miss, mm -hmm. cook. Okay, what else? Pay, mm -hmm. talk, move, like move your body. Mm -hmm. Share. Mm -hmm. I play, play, yeah. Play. I play. Mm -hmm. Share. Ok, acuérdense, uh, just to review, right? Cuando tenemos verbos regulares, we add, we add ed para decirlo en pasado, right? For example, 
Simple present, I play soccer, right? Simple present. Simple past, I, I played. played soccer, see? Okay, I played soccer. I played soccer. I played soccer. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So when we had the negative part, and that's something that I would like you to pay close attention. When we had the negative part, con los negativos, ¿qué necesitamos para hacer los negativos? ¿Alguien me puede ayudar? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer el negativo? What do we need? Auxiliary. Yes, good. We need the auxiliary did plus not. And look, nothing happened to the verb. Nada le pasa al verbo, ¿sí? Nothing happened. Okay? Yes. So, en la palabra did is basically what makes the verb simple past. Okay? Look at an example that I'm going to include in the chat. Look at this example. El ejemplo que tenía anterior era I played soccer. I played soccer, right? But, pero como en esta vez lo quiero decir en negativo, I'm going to add I did I not did. play soccer. ¿Sí? ¿Qué es, lo que hace, ¿Qué es lo que hace la oración negativa? The auxiliary verb, verb did not. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. No voy a cometer este error. Look. I'm typing in the chat. Please do not make that mistake. Ok. Porque están diciendo como están haciendo negativo, <laughs> negativo. Dos oraciones negativas. I didn't play the soccer. Pero usted me puede decir, ah, pero teacher, usted dijo de que el pasado era ED. Yes, only with positive sentences. But if, if I have negative sentences, like this case, I didn't, so I don't need to add ED. Okay, please go to, aha, good, good, Rosa Maria. I didn't buy my car. Okay, go to the chat, please, and type a sentence. Simple pass with good. I didn't play video juegos. In that case, it would be video games, Patricia. Video games. Adriana, I didn't do my homework. Good. Good. Very good. Hmm. Okay, let me see another. I didn't drink milk. Drink milk. Nice. Otro ejemplo, por favor. Another example. I didn't dance today, good. I didn't work on Sunday, good. I didn't go to the party, good. I didn't read a book today, good. Very good, excellent, excellent. Okay, nice. Let's go to the next one. Okay, vamos al siguiente. All right, when I want to ask questions, questions with for example, in Spanish, nosotros de, 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 uh, we say, ¿Qué hiciste ayer? ¿Verdad? Preguntamos, ¿verdad? O, ¿Qué comiste hoy? ¿Qué, qué hiciste ayer? O, ¿Qué ropa te pusiste? So, when we ask those kind of questions about the simple past, we need what? Look, we need the, right? Again, did makes the sentence what? Negative. I mean, in that case, a question. When we add it at the beginning, see? Look at the example. Did you play football? Did you eat pupusas today? <laughs> Look at that example. Don't hear. Yes. Huh? What? What? Hay como, no sé qué es lo que tiene la señal que se escucha como... I don't hear. Claro. No, no, no. Yes. We can hear uh, a... Interference. There is interference in your... What about now? What about now? In your voice. There is interference. Okay. Still. What about now? Yes or no? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Do you have interference? Yeah. As I said before, uh, there is a party here in the, in the park. So there is a chanchona and there is a disco móvil. <laughs> uh, 
Hay una chanchona y una disco móvil aquí en la ciudad de Chilanga. That's why. That's why. Oh, my God. It's very noisy. And por eso escuchen unas interferencias, ¿ok? Oh, Patricia Marroquín is asking, how do you say saltar cuerda in English? How do you say saltar cuerda in English? Can anyone help me jump. out? Jump. 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 Jumping. 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 Jumping what? The rope. Jumping. Jumping rope. Jumping. Jumping rope. Okay? Jumping rope. Okay? Jumping rope. Okay. Nice. Patricia, so saltar cuerda se dice jumping rope. Okay? Jumping rope. Can you repeat after me, please? Jumping rope. Jumping, jumping rope. Jumping rope. Okay, jumping, jumping rope. rope. For example, jumping, jumping rope. rope. Okay, for example, uh, in a sentence could be, um, I didn't play jumping rope. ¿Sí? I didn't play, no jugué saltando cuerdas. ¿sí? Jumping rope. Okay, let's continue. So when we want to ask yes, no questions with the simple past, okay, look, okay, with the simple past con el pasado, utilizamos que did. For example, a question that I'm going to tell you right now, I, I ask you, did you, did you eat pupusas today? Okay, do you eat pupusas today? Comiste pupusas hoy? Do you eat pupusas today? What will you answer? Yes, yes or no? I yes, no, I didn't. No, okay. So it would be, it yes, could I be. Did. Yes, yes, I, I did. Oh, no. I, I didn't. didn't. Okay, I good did. job. See? Okay, another question that I can ask you. Did you? Okay. Vamos a ver qué me, qué me dicen acá ustedes. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver si están despiertos hoy. Do you went to the school today? Did you go to the school? Ajá. Okay, ¿por qué no puedo colocar went? ¿Por qué? Vamos a ver. Why? Por el deep. Correcto. So, correcto. Correct. The is in, in but you did. Yes. Every time. Y se lo did, and that, como en este ejemplo, did, nada le pasa al verbo. Nothing happened to the verb. All right? So that's why, in this case, yo, yo escribí mal a propósito esta oración para que ustedes pudieran identificarla. So, How would it be the correct way? How would it be the correct um, uh, sentence or question in this case? How would it be? Help me out. Did you go to the school today? Good. Did you go to the school today? So, see? See, si ven? En el primero había un error. There was a mistake porque estaba utilizando did para hacer pregunta, ¿verdad? Okay. Tell me another example. Uh, do you, did she, vamos con did she. Did she, did she what? Mm -hmm. Did she, did she what? Did she, did she, did she dry? What, did she cook today? Did she cook today? What about, do you go to school today? Aha, uh -huh. yes, Sandra. Well, without using uh, there, did you go to that school? Well, the thing is, when we um, specify that school, the, 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 uh -huh. it's because yes. you and I know what kind of school we are talking about. Por ejemplo, oh. en, lo mismo pasa en español cuando nosotros decimos el celular, hey, Traeme el, el celular. Cuando digo mm -hmm. el celular, ya sabemos a qué celular nos estamos refiriendo. The same right. happened in English. When we mm -hmm. say the, the school, so you, Sandra, and me, Pedro, we know what school we are talking about. That's why I don't, I mean, it's, 
it wouldn't have any difference if either or not I use it. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. No, thank you for asking. Good. Um, let's see. Did she, Patricia? Let me see. Did she jumping rope? Did she play? Did she play uh, jumping rope? Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. So now I would like you to think about what do you do yesterday. Think about it. Think about what do you do yesterday, and I'm going to ask you uh, directly. Okay. ¿Qué hicieron ayer? Escriban una o dos oraciones in simple past. ¿Ok? Dos oraciones in simple past. And then later, I'm going to ask you. ¿Ok? Two sentences about what you did yesterday. Write two sentences. Okay. Okay, two sentences. What do you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you do yesterday? Vamos a ver en el chat. ¿Qué escribieron en el chat? I went to the park with my family at night. Good. Joaquin says, I went to the hardware store. Giovanni said, hardware. Okay, good. Ferretería, right? I went to the hardware store. Fatima says, I watched movies in the afternoon. Good. Adriana, Adriana says, I celebrated my birthday. Oh, really, Adriana? Is that true? Your birthday? Yeah, that's true. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday. How was your birthday? Really fun. And ah. thanks for the congratulations. Ah. Thank you, thank you for being here. Okay, Patricia, acuérdese de algo, Patricia, de lo que acabo de decir. Um, look, your sentence says, Patricia, I eat pupusas, I didn't visit grandma. Okay, that's good, I eat pupusas. Pero, ¿cuál es el, let me ask you, ¿cuál es el simple, el pasado simple del verbo eat? Eat. Eat. Entonces, la oración, la oración ¿cómo sería entonces? I ate pupusas. I ate pupusas. Pupusas. Yesterday. Sí, I ate. No es eat, sino que sería I ate. Ok. Ate. Ok, good. Thank you for helping. Thank you for helping. I went to church and a friend came to see me. Good, Eunice. Ok, good. All right. Is there any question with the simple past? Mm -hmm. Any question with the simple past? Everything is right, teacher. Everything is right. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Como ustedes saben, estamos repasando, right? We are reviewing what we started last week. Okay. The present perfect. When we talk about the present perfect, we are basically talking about what? Talking about a situation that it might happen in the past and it might be in progress until today, right? For example, look, I have played. Yo he jugado, right? I have played, see? I have played. The other one, it's you have played. He has played, okay. Be careful. Cuando tenemos los, los sujetos he, she, and it, we are going to use has. has. Good. Okay, good. Very good. Pero si yo tengo los sujetos I, you, we, is have. you, they. they, we are going to have the auxiliary verb have. have. 
have a person. Okay, look at this example in the chat. I have visited, okay, have visited the, uh, I, let, me see. let me see. Look at the example. Look at the example. Play. Look at the example. What do you think about the example? Play. Where is the mistake, teacher? Where is the mistake? I don't the error. Where is the mistake? Has participled. Good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Listen. Cuando utilizamos el presente perfecto, algo le sucede al verbo. And it's that we add ed, si es verbo regular, le agregamos ed, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero si no fuera verbo regular, fuera otro verbo, we use the past participle, right? Ok. Por ejemplo, look, uh, look at this example in the chat. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio del verbo comer? Pasado participio Eren. del verbo Eren. comer. Eren. ¿Cómo I se deletrea? Eren. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? I have it. I have eaten. Okay, look at the example that I have. I have eaten pupusas. He comido pupusas. ¿sí? I have eaten pupusas. Okay, let me ask you this question. I have eaten pupusas. Eaten pupusas. Do you like chamfaina? Do you know what chamfaina is? I eaten pupusas. What is chamfaina? <laughs> Does any, alguien sabe qué es chanfaina? Does anybody know what chanfaina is? Chanfaina. Uh, yes, what is chanfaina? What is chanfaina? I don't know, teacher. I think it's a, a kind of embutido. Oh. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that. It's, it's kind it's, of it's pork. 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 Oink, 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 pork. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of pork meat combined with some kind of pepper a combination but it's a lot of meat it's pork i don't know if you like pork but here right. here for example in in morasan chamfaina or in chilanga chamfaina it's um, is well eaten mm -hmm. yes okay good so have you okay listen si yo quiero preguntar una pregunta by the way Valga la redundancia, by the way, have you ever eaten chanfaina? Chanfaina. How would you answer that question? ¿Cómo responderían esa pregunta? Have you ever eaten chanfaina? No, I have. I never. No, I, I, ne I, I, no, I have never eaten chanfaina. Oh, no. I no, I have eaten Chamfaina. Chamfaina. ¿Se acuerdan la clase cuando estuvimos practicando Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever? Do you remember that? No, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So when we have the simple, I mean the present perfect, we change that. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. Can you go to the chat and type one sentence using the present perfect? Una oración. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. Look at my example. I had taken pictures. I had taken pictures in France. Okay. I had ever seen the rain. I had ever seen. Okay. In este caso, Joaquin, usted no necesita ever. Okay. No necesita ever. Okay, Joaquin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you can say, I have seen, yo he visto la lluvia, I have seen the rain. Okay, okay let me see, Sandra. Have you ever climbed El Pital? Yes, I have. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes, uh, me and my wife, um, yes, and my friends, we have been to El Pital. Rio Chiquito, I guess, that's the name, Rio Chiquito, something like that. Rio, Rio Chiquito. 
Clear something. Clear something. En, las pilas, en las pilas, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Janet says, she has written a mail. Good. I had some at school. Good. You did? Good. Okay. Let me see, Elsa. I have read it by Stephen King. Oh, I never read that book. Is that good, Elsie? Is that a good book, Elsie? Okay. Yes, it's it's about it, the movie, it, the it, clown. It. Ah, it, oh. it, I, I, oh. I had a mistake. I write it. So you mean it. But it, it. 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 Yes. Okay. Mire, alguien me le puede ayudar a Sara Quintanilla, por favor. Look. Look at the example that she has. He has drive the car. ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? Eso les preguntaba hace poco. ¿Qué les pasa? ¿Qué le pasa al verbo? Help me out. Ayúdenme. Ayúdenme ahí, por favor. Uh -huh. uh... The verb needs to, to be in, par, in, in past participle. Past, past participle, ok. ¿Cuál es el past participle del verbo drive? Driven. 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 Ok. Driven. Driven. Yes. Driven. Ok. Driven. Ok. Ok. Good. All right. Nice. Ok. Do you have any other question? Remember, estamos reviewing. We are reviewing. The, this is just a review about what we started last class. I mean, last week. Right? Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. We already, uh, we already talked about that. We have, okay. I'm sorry for the noise, but the bell at the church and the fire Workers are exploring. Can you hear, can you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Ese es mi pobrecito. Okay. So we use for and since. Remember that we use for when we uh, refer for a period of time. And we use since for a starting point. Okay. Okay. In addition, let me see, let me clear everything. Okay. Remember that when we are expressing actions or actions that need to be taken into consideration, we need different kind of, sorry. For example, we need first, then, Next, after that, finally, etc. Right? Pero, por ejemplo, podemos tener primero, first, second, third, fifth, and so on. Right? So, when we want to express steps, pasos, right? Pero, por ejemplo, cuando, si te quieres decirle, mire, ¿cómo se cocina? I remember the other day I asked you how to cook uh, maruchan. How do you cook maruchan? ¿Quién me puede decir cuál es el primer paso para cocinar maruchan? How do you cook maruchan? Put water in hot sauce. Oh, do not forget. Uh, do not forget what? No olviden esto. Mm -hmm. First. Okay, first, first primero. Boil the water. First, I boil the water. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué pasa después? What happens later? Uh -huh. Then, then, then you you then, put the, the water in the pasta. You put the water in the pasta. Or or, or in the cup. Oh, in the cup. Okay. Next. 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 You wait five minutes. Five minutes. After that. Three or four minutes. After that. You can serve that. You can add lemon. Yeah. Pepper, salt, and then finally, finalmente, finally, finally, what happened finally con Amaruchan? What happened? You can serve it. Yes, you can eat one. Finally, with with, with, with uh, palillos chinos. Mm. <laughs> you eat it with palillos chinos and Maruchan? 
Me, me, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But what do you regular use? ¿Qué uh -huh. se utiliza para? para se, se utiliza una cuchara, tenedor, palillos chinos. Uh -huh. ah. Fork. How do you say that in Fork. English? ¿Cómo se dice tenedor en inglés? How do you say that? Fork. Fork. Ok. Fork. Vamos a, how do you spell it? F. F. O. D. Ok. R. K. Fork. Eso Fork. es tenedor, right? Tenedor. Mm -hmm. And what about cucharita o cuchara? How do you say it? Uh, how do you spell spoon. cuchara? Spoon. Little spoon. How do you spell it? S. B. S. O, O, N, O, O, N, N, spoon, okay. Well, you can either eat a maruchan with a, with a fork or a spoon, okay? Or a spoon. Okay. Yes. Or oh, sticks, sticks, like uh, Jeanette was saying that she eats a maruchan with sticks. All right, let's move on. Let me see. Oh, time is running, time is running. I haven't found the time. Okay. We are gonna do an activity right now. Look, what do we have okay. right here? We have pictures, right? Mm -hmm. We have pictures, okay. So what I would like you to do is put the pictures in the right order, okay? What is first, second, third, and so on, okay? Vamos a colocar las, las que? Las pictures in the right order. And then we are going to create a short story. Okay? Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. And I want you yes. to use sequence adverbs. Okay? What are the sequence adverbs? First, first and second, then, and, then, and so on, okay? Next, after. So, yes, so look at the pictures, and I would like you to think about what goes first, what picture is the first, what picture is the second, what picture is the third. And then, later, you are going to invent, you're going to think about what? about the, the conversation that they're having. Is there any question about what I just said? Mm. Alguna pregunta? No. 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 Okay. So, vamos a tener, déjame ver, vamos a tener tres, cuatro minutos para organizar las pictures e inventar mm. qué es lo que está pasando, ¿ok? ¿Ok? So, si tienen una pregunta, I'm going to be here, ¿ok? Nadie le ha mandado los correos. Bueno, bueno, ¿Estamos claros claro lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Sí? Yes. yes. Ok, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Quién es mi marido? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer dos fotos. Vamos a hacer dos fotos. Vamos a hacer dos fotos. Y creamos la historia. Y creamos la historia. Sí. Good story, okay. yeah. So, si tienen una pregunta, I'm going to be here, okay? All right? Yeah. Okay, work. You have, uh, sure. let me see. Yes, yes. Teacher. Sí, sí. We have to write in the chat or? Uh, yeah, copy? you can You can either type it in the chat or write it in your notebook. It's all right. Okay. Perfect. Simple. Mm -hmm. Puede ser de seis meses, ¿no? Eso. 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 Eso.
Are we ready? No, no. No, no, no. Okay, no, yes. time is running, time is running. You better hurry up. You better hurry up. Okay, let, let me see. Uh, there is, let me see Adriana Lopez. We need a quick solution to our food shortage problem. We could grow more. We could steal from other from other kingdoms. Could the king eat less too? <laughs> That's a good one. What do you say? Uh, is the simplest and fastest solution. Okay, but Adriana, uh, you need to add, or you needed to add some sequence adverb, like primero, first, second, and so on, but that's okay. That's okay, okay? Adriana, thank you, good job. Okay, thank you. All right, time is running. Time is running. Can I have another volunteer? Uh, anyone? Porque solo tenemos que uh, tenemos seis minutos para que nos vayamos. Yes, yes. Okay, so what, what is the first picture? What goes first? Tell me out. Hello. Uh, the first picture is the fourth one. This one? In the order. This one? No, no. 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 The next. No. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this. This one? No. This one? Yes. Now from here, okay. second, I think. Okay, okay. First, what happened? What is happening here? First. The king. The king. Uh -huh, the king. King. king, king. The king is, is uh, uh, angry. Okay, or... the king is angry uh, i'm very angry okay we, no we, hay que confundir la palabra angry with hungry okay hungry <laughs> well aunque we, podría we, ser right puede ser que el, el, the king is angry enojado and hungry which is what hambriento hungry okay next next picture first Pico. second with the second picture this this one. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. What, what what the first man says? What is he saying? Oh. What happened, Mr. King? Okay. Next. What did your problem? Oh, what is your problem? What is your problem? Good. Next. I see. Do you need to relax? <laughs> We need to relax, okay? <laughs> Next picture. <laughs> Next picture. Uh, Next the picture. first one. Broken. <laughs> Broken the man. Yes. What is, I have a question. Is the king happy? No. no. Is the no. king uh, relaxed? No, he isn't. Oh. No. no. What is he's... happening to the king? 
It is angry. Angry. Oh, angry. angry. It is angry at the man, right? Okay, next. What goes next? Sing. This? Yeah. What do you think might have happened? What might have happened? May I teach him through yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ahead, the window? Oh. Okay. What I think is that three three men uh, were planning to to kill the boy, and then uh, in the picture number four, uh, number five, I mean, <clears throat> they they overcome it. Lo, lo, lo cometen. And then the the um, the king was very angry, asking for his son. And and then uh, the king the king is is asking them what did they do to his son? And then, then suppose that the king okay, took legal actions against them. Nice, good, good imagination. Okay, um, I don't know if I have another volunteer. Did I have another volunteer? Me? Yes, go ahead, Christine. Imagine it's internet, Claro. <laughs> uh, we imagine uh, we are in 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 internet, Claro. Okay. Okay, the first one. We need more customers every day. There are less people who buy our service. Some recommendations. The first one, volunteer. We need to collect more. The second one. Besides that, we need to load the signal. And the last one. We could make collect less and hide the signal. <laughs> Besides that, of course. And then I just said. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christine. Uh, anyone? Anyone else? Anyone else? Just one minute. Just one minute, minute to go. Yes. Me teacher. Go ahead. Hurry up. Me teacher. Yes, hurry up. Go, go. Okay. okay. And the, the first, the king has a good idea. Uh -huh. And then he, uh, he speak with, an, with another person. Uh -huh. And then uh, the other person, um, the, the the king uh, explain the the explain the people the person um, but they uh, they are an accident but and the final other person throw out the of the window uh, one person. <laughs> okay, that was very creative uh, for King. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, because of the time, you know that I have another class to go at nine o'clock and it's nine o'clock so far. So thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good night. Okay, good night. See you I will tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye